Hey, what's up, my fellow Twisters? Welcome back to another Redstone Map Showcase. Today, we are taking a look at a really cool Redstone Modern Beach House. Check this out, guys. This map is so cool. It was actually created by a fan. Her name is It's Lolan. You could check out her Twitter page when you go to download the map on the forums. So definitely show her some love for this really epic map. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. So here we are at the front of our house. As you can see, it looks really nice and modern. We have two signs over here by the front door. One says made for twist and that makes me feel super special. So thank you yet again Lolan for sending in that map. As well as we do have a sign that indicates that some of the lights do turn on at night. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And also we have a chest over here with a book that says welcome. Let's go ahead and read this. It says welcome to my redstone modern house. I am a redstone beginner and this took me one week to make. Wow. This is actually really, really cool that you took one week to make a map for me. Anyways... Thank you again, it's Lolan for sending this map, and if you guys have your own maps that you would like to send in, you could tweet that at me on Twitter, and I will definitely take a look at it, as well as I do want to say that you guys should definitely put a sign with your Twitter account, or with your YouTube channel, that way when I'm crediting you, it's a bit more easier since it's like on the map itself. Anyways, let's go ahead and enter our house, the first button over here is going to activate our redstone piston doorway, as you can see it's pretty simple, then we could go ahead and hit this button again to close it and we have another button at the top right hand corner that's going to turn on our lights for the first floor and brighten up the area all right so this is the first section of our house it's going to include a few decorations as well as a small kitchen on the corner we have ourselves a working fridge right over here that's going to pop out randomized food items as well as we do have a secret staircase which is not indicated on the map but when i was pushing these buttons i did find that this one opens up a secret staircase under our floor as you can see it's really cool and pretty well hidden and then once you come down here you do have a button on the left hand side of the wall that's going to turn on the lighting and then that lighting will expose our passcode lock input. So our passcode lock input is going to open up our vault so let's go ahead and enter the passcode which is 3, 4, and 5. Then we could go ahead and walk into this vault that contains a rainbow sheep. How freaking random is that? So our prized possession is our rainbow sheep. And this sheep is pretty much protected by this gigantic vault that is also very colorful and looks very nice. Alright, so that's just one little addition to the map itself. I quite like it. And the only kind of downside to this is that when you flick all of the levers, you open up the vault even though the passcode is wrong technically. So that is kind of my own fault. I did a tutorial about this a really long time ago and I made the same mistake so I'm just gonna blame myself for that one because I should possibly watch my tutorial in order to make that anyways let's go ahead and move on we could close that staircase using this button right over here and then we could walk into our bathroom on this corner. There is another button over here to turn on the lights in the ceiling. We have ourselves a working shower when you flick this lever, as well as a working toilet. Very nice and very simple. Also looks really cool. All right, so now let's go ahead and check out this middle area of the room. We have ourselves a computer desk and just a nice view of the outside. And as you can see, we do have a second floor. And I'll show you guys how to get to that in just a second. But now we can go ahead and flick this lever over here to turn on half of the lighting on this floor for some reason but we have another button on this side which is going to turn on the lighting for the other half of this room so yeah in this room you do have a few awesome little redstone inventions the first redstone invention is going to be an enchantment room you basically flick that lever it opens up the ground and then exposes our enchantment table that goes up to 30 levels i could actually grab myself a sword and test this out so let's go ahead and do that boom there we go 30 levels we have looting three as well as smite four and fire aspect two with six attack damage not too bad and we close back up that enchantment room by flicking that lever yet again Again, as well as we do have some other random decorations in this area, which makes the place look quite interesting. Alright, so the next area in this small room is going to be a secret lever at the bottom of the staircase. We simply walk a bit to the right and then look back at the staircase and then there should be a lever right behind here. We hit that lever and then it opens up a area to go up the staircase onto the second floor that we were just taking a look at from the computer desk. And then in this area we have two chests that we have um, you know, valuable items in here like blocks of diamonds as well as more blocks of diamonds. So I guess this is like a nice little storage area 
And, um, yeah, pretty interesting to say the least. All right, so let's go back down and check out the rest of the house. All right, so yet again, to close and open up this area, you want to look right behind the staircase on the corner, then flick that lever by right-clicking and it closes the door. Pretty cool. And now we could go ahead and take a look at the bedroom, which is located right over here. So this is going to be our bedroom. We have two buttons to turn on different lightings. We have one for our desk lighting at the bottom. And then one for the ceiling lighting, which is pretty cool. We have ourselves a pink, pink bed, which I guess is Lolan's bed. Very cool. And also in the back, we have some pink armor in our closet, as well as some other closet space on this side, which is also pretty interesting. All right, so yeah, that is pretty much the closet, as well as the bedroom. I quite like it. Now let's check out the rest of the house. All right, so on this side, we are going to have a staircase that goes up to the back area. So let's just go ahead and walk over here. As you can see, we have some lighting in the floor that we could turn on by using this button right at the end of the hallway. There we go. We have a balcony at the back, which is going to overlook the water. A very nice view, if I do say so myself. And then we have a doorway, which is going to take us to the pool and back area. All right, so to the left, we have a pool bathroom. Yet again, very similar to the other bathroom in the house itself, except it's a bit bigger. And we do have a sink over here. We have the lighting switch on this side, as well as our working shower and our working toilet. All right, so that's basically our bathroom. Now we could go ahead and check out our pool area. We do have a working fireplace that we could turn on using this button, and we could turn off using that button. As well as you do have a button on the ground over here, which is going to turn on the lighting for the pool. You can't really see it because of my shaders, but it does work and is very useful for nighttime dips in the water. And yeah, the pool itself is pretty interesting. On this side, we have another button that's going to turn on a waterfall for the pool. A very nice addition to the map, if I do say so myself. As well as you do have a diving board, which is just for decoration, of course. Alright, so on this side, we do have some seating arrangements as well as a nice umbrella to give us some shade. And a gateway at the back, which can be activated or opened and closed using this button on the inside as well as the outside. So that's just one cool thing that is included, and it's uh, pretty nice. All right, so let's go ahead and now take a look at some of the redstone at the back. If you guys have noticed, there's like a few boxes and decorations that look identical to, to each other back here, and they're basically little farms and mini structures that allow you to grow different items. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that first. We can hit this button right over here to open and close our farm gates. So as you can see, it will now basically uh, open up this area and expose our, you know, items that are growing. We have sugarcane, wheat, pumpkins, as well as cocoa beans. And we would basically come over here, hit this button on the left-hand side of the wall to harvest all of our cocoa beans and replant them if we so choose. We could come over here to the pumpkin area, hit this button on the wall to harvest all of our pumpkin. They will eventually grow back after we till the ground, I believe. And then we can move on to the sugarcane, do the same thing harvest the blocks using that uh, piston mechanism and finally we can do the same thing yet again using our wheat there we go and then it automatically turns off and we can replant it and then wait for it to grow again and the last button we have on this side is going to be to close our farm gates yet again so that's pretty cool after we plant it we can kind of hide it back in there and allow it to grow safely. All right, so moving on, we have another button right over here that's going to open up a private area at the middle of the map. Pretty interesting, we do have a grill on this side, which is just a regular furnace system, as well as we do have a button over here, which is going to allow us to get a crafting bench on the ground, as well as open up that area. And if we go ahead and turn this off, you can see that it will send up that area back and return our crafting table into its original grass block state, as well as we do have another button over here to manually open up our garden gates, as you can see, and a button on the outside to close that as well. So anyways, guys, that basically wraps up Today's Redstone Map Showcase. I want to thank Lolan again for sending in her map. I really loved it. If you guys did as well, please take one second to smack the like button. Leave a comment down below. As well as don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more epic Redstone maps. As well as Redstone tutorials and other Minecraft videos. Anyways, this was Twist. And I'll see you all next time.